Okay, so that being said, Jordan and Hakeem, who is this special guest we got here on the panel, big dog? So here we go, man. We have a special guest for you coming out from um, Miami, Florida. He is an artist. He is a songwriter. Let's get it up for Ron Jeezy, man. Ron Jeezy, he's in the building, man. Hey, man, how you feeling, man? Congratulations. What's going on, right? Ron? It's two Rons in the building. <laughs> What's going on, yeah, Ron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good, dog. You know, I'm highly favored. It's, it's Ron Jizzle, though. You feel me? It's Ron my bad, Jizzle. my bad. Ron Jizzle. Yeah, but I'm highly favored, dog. I can't complain, man. I'm living. So, so you good spirit. So you living. So right now we're gonna play. We're gonna we're gonna premiere one of your videos right now. Um, uh, what's the title called, Hakeem? The video that we were about to um play. My friend, by Ron Jizzle. Let's 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 get it. Let's get to it. Try young niggas doing right here, man. Y'all playing ball and shit. Y'all yeah, we playing ball. What you doing up here? I'm looking for Ron Jizzle. What Ron Jizzle at? That's my daddy, nigga. That's your daddy, that, yeah. nigga. That's my friend. Nigga. Let me tell you a story about Ron Jizzle. Mm -hmm. Give me this ball, nigga. My ball, boy. Uh, you mean, nigga. boy? That's my nigga. It's That's my motherfucking dog. Oh. <laughs> man, oh what you talking, bro? Shit, bro. Fuck around here with all that duck. That's my friend, that's my friend. You say my nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See, you don't been no fuck around and got hit in your mouth. That's my friend, that's my friend. You say my nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See, you gon' be no fuck around and got hit in your mouth. Then show me some black and white with my nigga name on it. But I know it's black and white with your nigga's name on it. He done fucked around and done got himself into some shit he ain't wanted. Done fucked around and talked about the wrong nigga, my homie. For shit that we done in the past, that's, that's why, why them demons all on me. Burning sage around the crib to keep them bitches from off me. I keep trying not to relapse, but niggas act like they want it. I think that's why God giving me my gift, cause he see that I want it. On auto motor by my brothers, just know that I'm coming. With a hundred, don't, don't. Yeah, you know that I'm drumming. Only time you see me running, running down on something. Or them crackers get behind me with them poles or something. I'm never slipping, nigga. Always got poles in the wheel. Even when a nigga got a cup of holes in the wheel. Nah, baby, just chill. You ain't even got a trip. I'm a real good driver, bitch. I know how to deal. That's my friend, that's my friend. You say my nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See, you gon' bend a fuck around and got hit in your mouth. That's my friend. You say my nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See, you gon' be no fuck around and got hit in your mouth. One time for perfect timing, times is hard. We made another month to the stars. We took another round against the odds. Your back against the wall, you can make it fall. One time for perfect timing, times is hard. We made it out the month to the stars. We took another round. You my nigga, can't talk shit about my nigga if he ain't here, that's still my nigga. That's a bad bitch, still my nigga, cause she realer than most niggas. On go about that little bitch right there, my motherfucking sister. Sending shots about all my siblings, I pray them bitches hit you. Rest in peace, my nigga head, can't wait to catch up with your killer. And if I ain't serving this ass like a fucking drug dealer, best believe I'ma be the one that sucked the fucking hit, nigga, that was my friend. That's my friend, that's my friend. You say my nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See, you gon' bend a fuck around and got hit in your mouth. That's my friend, that's my friend. Say my nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See, you gon' bend a fuck around and got hit in your mouth. That's what's up, man. What's up? that's what's up, man. Rest in peace to head, man. I knew head, man, growing up, man. Rest in peace yeah. to head, man. God bless that man, man. Yeah, that's, that's what's up, boy. man. I grew up with him, man. That's that's yeah, that's, oh, that's your boy. That's, that's your boy. boy. Oh, that's oh my man. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah, straight up in the 40s, yeah. man. That's that's head, yeah. man. Shout out yeah. to head, man. Rest uh, easy, big it. dog. 
so so ron let me ask you a question so i know you was born and raised in miami so what made you get yeah. into music what made you want to be um pretty much be, to become a rapper i mean i'm like i'm in i'm in i'm in like probably middle school or something like that i remember like i was i was in uh i think i was going to brownsville at the time so middle school is when i really like i don't know went to veering in that direction and uh i used to watch a lot of a lot of uh, rap and, and 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 that shit was inspiring though so i'm like man i don't know maybe i could maybe i could do it so you know i gave it a try at first you know it was like uh, i got a starter kit right so somebody gave me some beats probably like a little uh, 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 like i forgot what you call it like a little beat sample cd probably like about four beats on it and it and it's just because i'm like man i knew this particular person that's that's what he dealt with that's what that's what uh that's what what lane he was in so you know he had then gave me the little beat package like four beats or something like that and i sat down and i like right i wrote all i wrote to all four beats and just from that day forward i just ain't looked back i just been doing little open mics ever since then and you know what i'm saying i, I just got greater and greater at it. i got better and better at it so i'm like man you know what i just enjoy doing it Now, definitely. Let me ask you a question. Who was your biggest musical influences uh, as far as you rapping? Uh, I mean, we grew up. We grew up listening to a lot of Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Like, my middle school, high school days, we had Wayne and our ear and our CD player. Mm -hmm. And you know, around that time, it, he dropping. He the one. He he dominating the game with all type of mixtapes. He dropping. So, but we was really up on Wayne. And then you know, probably before that, I probably was a little younger than that. I used to watch um, uh, I think it was like video mix or something like that. With when, when JT Money used to come on, that was one of my favorite songs. That I yeah 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 yeah. That was one of my favorite Pippin songs. on wax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and then um, uh, amongst the years, then you got uh, what that song that came out, Greasy, Ball Greasy, uh, I Get Money, I Fuck Ho, keep it back, that, that shit right there, him and Briscoe, all that shit, that was so hard, so a lot of that shit inspired me and gave me influence to do it, I'm like, damn, man, I want to meet these people one day, so fast forward and I. I know all of them. You get what I'm saying? So nigga just been climbing that ladder slowly but surely. You hear me? Johnny, you're, you're muted. You're muted. I'm muted. No, I'm muted. No, my Jordan. bad. My bad. Yeah, so listen to uh the people that inspire you musically. So what has people in your life, family or friends, like that keep pushing you inspiring you inspiring you to continue to do music? Uh mainly them babies. Them, even my, my jits, you know, like just to see them listening to my music, certain songs, teeing up <laughs> when I play it. I, I, I'm just, I, I'm not the only one that know the song in the house, like so. Mainly, them when I get to play it and I get to see how they listening to it and rapping it and just bouncing and bobbing, like you know, that's a sight to see. You get what I'm saying? So. Like sometimes it don't even really matter outside of that because if I could get to enjoy something, uh, something like that, you know, that's the rub to me. But like I got, I got like you know people like your old girl, you know, she gonna always be there to root you on. Anybody mama gonna want them to do that, and, and especially if they see the growth and where you've been at, and like damn, like when we step out, how many people really walking up to you, like. And what's up, Jizzle Boy? They do like, you know what I'm saying? Like my point when I go out, bro, it's, it's so many people that come holler at me, like, "Boy, what's up, Run?" Like motherfuckers, I hear it all the time, like, "Damn, dog, you know a lot of people." I just be like, "Man, I really put the groundwork in." You know what I'm saying? Like it be the small things like that that I kind of forget about, and it's people that really come up to me and embrace that and. And let me know. I could probably be discouraged or something, but 
it's motherfuckers like that that remind me like damn like people really know who i am i just probably might not feel like i'm where i want to be at in it but i'm known by a lot of people so that right there man i'm appreciative about something like that um ron what's your what's your opinion about like some rappers who will become successful lead the hood but don't come back to hood to support what's your opinion about that i mean i was just thinking about that like to each his own but if you think like how you came up if 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 that's where you came up from and you ain't saying man you know what we take the time out to like actually take the time out to put effort towards let me grab somebody and see how 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 um how much they want it and and see if it ain't just a, a, a game or if this something somebody out my hood really trying to do and and see how much I can help them do it. Like if I don't feel I feel like I feel like if you ain't at least trying to see if somebody that came up from your area or it ain't even gotta be your area, somebody that's around you that you know that's trying to do it and you made it and you don't put forth some type of effort to invest in this man or help this man either get a jump start kickstart or whatever like you green like why you might well don't even say you might well say you from somewhere else don't don't even claim the hood because that's green you got a lot of rappers main rappers big i'm to my big heads like walk around this bitch like y'all don't see all these upcoming artists like when the last time y'all put somebody on for miami you know what i'm saying but a nigga could be round and all that just to feel in the entourage or to make you feel safe and comfortable and shit. but niggas ain't giving back you know niggas ain't giving back to people like that but like so i i be personally i don't respect it and i'm not finna just be hanging around no anybody that's up and you you probably even know how hard whoever is I'm like damn that boy really good rap if he really could fucking rap what's the problem then like what you don't want to see him doing that like you don't want a nigga to you don't want to have be able to say damn boy look at that same person three years from now and say damn i feel like i like i feel like i accomplished something because i help a man feed his family you get what i'm saying i help a man take care of his kid that ain't something that gotta be brag and boast about but you as a person or a human being could, could feel like you you change somebody life you get what i'm saying so i don't feel like it's a level that going on in miami too raw like everybody want to come to miami everybody want to be from miami mm -hmm. yeah like you know what i'm saying so motherfuckers ain't really putting on for miami and giving miami that 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 push that it really need this shit just about following all this shit is Motherfuckers want to follow. Motherfuckers want to be around. Who popping and all that. That's why I am how I am right now. I ain't never give a fuck about none of that. When I wake up, I'm still me. Like, the, I'm. It's just straight authenticity with me. Like, I don't give a fuck what you got, and what you got ain't gonna change the way I act. Ain't gonna change how I move. None of that shit. That's why, loved by so many people and, and hated by a few, cause. A nigga just so authentic to, to the fact that people can't even be they self as to why they got to hate on you. Because you wake up smiling, you don't down, like see nothing wrong with you. You can't tell that nothing ever wrong with me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I ain't I ain't waking up with no frown on my face or going out with no frown on my face. You can't walk up to me like and see me out publicly and be like, damn, what's wrong with you? Because if it's something wrong with me, what the fuck I'm out for? You get what I'm saying? I'm going to be out chilling, enjoying myself every time i do something that's that's my preference to enjoy myself i don't give a fuck what i'm doing i could be on the beach by myself i'm in i'm trying to enjoy myself you know what i'm saying so i don't respect those type of people those type of artists let me ask you a question um is there any challenges you facing as far as in your music career to get to the next level 
Hell yeah, this shit take money. This shit take more money than anything. So that's the biggest challenge right there. Inflation right now, so you know, it, 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 price went up, god damn it. So just having extra paper to go to the studio and drop this record, get this motherfucker mixed. Then if it's light, get this motherfucker mastered. Then if it's like that much, pay for this goddamn video. Then you want to look a certain type of way, go grab something for the video, a little fit, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's the biggest, that's the biggest obstacle right there, just having that that, that source of income to, to put that bread behind what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody got something they got to do besides put money into music coming up like damn i gotta do this i gotta i gotta pay for this ticket i just got last week you get what i'm saying like shit like that is just so that's the biggest obstacle dog just being financially stable to to, to, to have something to push out toward like put a pot to the side to, you know what i'm saying to help push that whatever you're trying to do so, so that music video, that. so so Ron, the music video we just played, uh, we, we, guys, we will play that music video again, um, we, 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 after we we done with the interview, so we'll play it again for the guys that's walking in, um, so the music video that was played, you you find that music video on your own money, or you had um um help from a label or something like that, or yeah, your management? Nah, shit, I, my dog, shit, my dog went high with me. Nice. Me, like nice. So that's how I did that. My dog went high with me. Who the fuck? Who, who shot that video anyway? Um, damn, I don't even know who shot the video, dog. That's crazy. Uh, who shot the video? Yeah, man, I don't even know who shot the video. That's crazy, but uh, yeah, like that, like I ain't get charged that much is and that's really why i'm trying to trying to remember who that was shot the video because the person looked out and then you know my dog gave me half and, 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 and you know once i once i just told everybody that's closest to me and everybody that i really fuck with nigga having a video on that day they came out like you know they showed up you get what i'm saying um one of the people in the chat had a question on uh, supreme college PA Divas, he asked how much the music video cost to make. Like I say, that bit part, that particular video probably was three hundred dollars. That's not bad. That's yeah, not- that ain't bad. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. It was the person who did it. I wanna the person I wanna say, I don't think it's that person because I remember hitting that person up. So I ain't trying to say that person's name and it really wasn't him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm discrediting the motherfucker who did the video, but I really I, like I remember it when I remember who that was shot that bit when that bit come back on and I see the whatever the yeah. tag they in, I be we like, okay, yeah, so right. So I you know what I'm saying, but but yeah, like motherfucker just looked out for me, you know. Go ahead, Jordan. All right. So um I have yeah, I have a question for you. You know, when it comes to collaboration, is there anybody, it could be somebody in the uh, industry, I mean, I mean in the uh, in the mainstream, it could be somebody locally. If you have somebody you want to collab with, it could be one or multiple people. Who would you love to collab with with, with your music? Shit, various amounts. Like it's so many, it's so many like popping artists. Like that shit is like an endless list. Like you get what I'm saying? I I, I fuck with, I fuck with Greasy. I, I like I want to do some shit with with JT. Well, the City Girls. Um. I want to do some shit, dog. Like, with Mary J. Blige, you feel me? Like, okay, yeah. Like, I'm talking about. I yeah, yeah. Also, R and B artists. I R&B see you get a lot of R, a lot of R and B. Boy, I, I got a lot of people that like. Once that ball get a chance to get rolling, like, oh yeah, I want this person on this. Like, I see this person on that. Like, it's so many that you know. I'd be so many like you. You forget. Most of them, cause it's just that many people. But I ain't gonna lie, dog. It's a lot of it's a lot of motherfuckers, dog. A lot of upcoming artists. Wow. So, a Kodak, you want you want you want to do something with Kodak Black? No. Of course, of course. So you get what I'm saying? Like, of course, like <laughs> that's that what I mean by about that long list. Like, 
<laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, of course. Like, you get what I'm saying? Hey, so, uh huh. Hey, Jizzle. It's, it's, it's so many people. What up, dog? Yeah, yeah. Is there any politics with you working with any local artists in Miami? Because mm. I know there be like, you know what I mean? Cats be from different hoods, and you might, you know what I'm saying? You might know somebody from a different hood. Y- y'all might not be cool, but he's a good artist. Would, yeah. would there be any politics in that? Yeah, it will. Sad to say. Uh, but me personally, me knowing it'll be politics, it, it, it all depends on how deep this, the situation was. You like mm. what what type of situation they was in? Like you know what I'm saying? There ain't been no motherfucking bloodshed or nothing like that. Oh yeah, that's that's petty. I, could, I, I you know what I'm saying? Like if it's just some hearsay and the motherfucking mad somebody said this and all that yeah that ain't got shit to do with me you get what i'm saying like if i'm here to make music you feel me so it do and it don't like and a lot of people really misconstrue that with missing out on working with a lot of people and it just it just um breaking the ice on certain shit like like fuck being against each other like the same the same the same way you, a motherfucker could put some shit to the side with a with, with, like let bygones be guy bygones with with a bitch they were just mad at yesterday mm-hmm. why you can't do the same with dog you know what i'm saying like it ain't really been nothing too damaging you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. everybody say fucked up shit when oh did he press the button you know what i'm saying which, oh there which, you go which, a motherfucker might say some shit that they don't even mean at the time. It's just out of anger. Like so, it's like I don't, I don't really too much care for that because I don't care what another. If, oh, this person don't fuck with that person. What the fuck that got to do with me? I'm a grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? I go anywhere freely, do what the fuck I want to do, holler at who I want to holler at. Like it's up to me. If a mo- it, it, dog, it's, it's so many motherfuckers that see me and. I know them talked about me, but guess what? Sooner they see me, boy, jizzle what they do. And in my head, I just be laughing like, man, it's like, it's that bad? Like, you get what that I'm saying? Bad. Like, you see so many yep. people fucking with a nigga. You been talking about a nigga, but you just want to be seen like you fuck with me. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, so that shit just be so green sometimes, but like, I'm a grown, I'm grown. So I don't, I don't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? I move how I move. Don't nobody contradict my next step. Uh, well, my final question for you is, um, do you have any upcoming shows, any upcoming event in Miami, Florida, so people can actually come and watch you? Because, you know, we're going to clip this, and we know we're we going to put this on, yeah, on a lot of major platform. Lost connection or something. Y'all can hear me? Yeah, yeah we, we can hear you. you. you can, yeah, we can, can hear, hear us. You can hear us? We can hear you loud and clear. Or oh, is he lagging? Jizzle, you can you hear, hear us? I think you lost connection, huh? Go ahead, Drizzle. Jizzle, can you hear us? I can't, I can't hear nothing. Can you hear yeah, us? I'll log, I'll log out and come back in. Log out and come back in. Probably, I can probably write it in the chat and then highlight it. Send them to log out and then come back in. There you go. Now that, but shout out to everybody that's here in the building. Shout out to the um, uh, shout out to the shite, shout out to the shite, she bum that's in the building. Um, Barry White, shout out to Barry White. She's also in the building. Shout out to Ken Doll, Mallfather's in the building. Supreme Guys, PH Divas in the building. Ashton from the Shite Avengers also in the building. Also, um, who's in the building? I'll be Wody. What's going on, big dogs? Also in the building, Bobby, the lovely Bobby Bryant, and also when Bobby Bryant did the lovely Sherry Bryant, it's also in the building. Shout out to you guys being here. Um, uh, Ron, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, my bad. I had to okay. refresh it. I, I see, I had to refresh it because I got a call, so it paused everything. So I just, I just refreshed it. My bad. Uh, so, um, so, um, this is the, um, so this is my final question for you. I want to say, do you have any up? Do you have any upcoming event in Miami, Florida? So people can actually come and watch you perform on anything that's coming out new. Any new song, any new album. What 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 what's your project? 
for this year? Well, I got, I got, I got this single. I'm about to get ready to drop. Uh, called end of this song. So I'm about to uh going to start getting that pressed up and ready to uh release. I probably I'm gonna say in the next two months I'm gonna try to have it done and ready to be dropped and um and start uh working on working on the video too because. I, I just want to like feel like I'm ahead of the song. Like I don't want to be behind. I just want to feel like I'm ahead of. So before I was ready to release it, I just wanted to take to have certain things lined up already. And then once it dropped, I just know, okay, bum on this date we finna do this, or well, on that date we gonna do this like that. So the, the song called end of this song. Um, and then like I got more music, but I feel like dropping a whole project as far as like another mixtape or ep or mm-hmm. like ep good because that ain't nothing but probably about you can put four songs for an ep but I, I just feel like everybody like right now in the generation like motherfuckers just really like that one song they 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 gonna like to want to hear all the time and then like following up with that then you i probably drop another one to like i ain't gonna lie i damn near drop half of half of the songs as singles on my next project that I want to um release just so I could know it been around already you know what I'm saying just cause just so I know like okay I know this, this shit done been listened to by many people so now I drop it on a project add probably about three four more songs and and just push it out put some shit out like that to where I feel like it, 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 it could get the best amount of ears or audience listening to it like that so uh, I'm about to drop that single called "End of This Song." Y'all gonna be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna we'll send do. it to you. Yeah, I'm gonna send yes, it to sir. you. You ain't even gotta worry about it. I'm gonna send it to you as soon as I drop it. I'm gonna send you the date it's gonna drop and everything. So you know, I'm gonna just keep y'all in the loop from here on out. And you know, hopefully, we go ahead and set up another interview. You feel oh, me? most definitely, most yeah. definitely, most yeah. most definitely. I like that. Most definitely. Yeah. We have a question from our audience. Go ahead, I can't. Um, so, sir, uh, um, PH Diva asks you, what part of Miami you from? I'm from the sub, brown sub, but you know. Oh, uh, brown like, sub in the building? Yeah, I'm from the sub, the, the whole city area, though. The whole city area, but but brown sub, yeah. Shout out to brown sub. Brown sub is in the building. <laughs> he yeah. used to go over there all the time. That's why he's yeah, yeah, back in the day. Yeah, it ain't Early the same high, yeah. no more. That mm. shit. They done two odd shit down, man. Yeah, they did. Like, I was yeah. trying to tell them, make it yeah. justify white just <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Keith. Hey, Jordan, any final questions uh, for yeah. Ron before we play his uh, music video again? Go ahead. Yo, Ron, let me ask you a question. If you was in my position as the interviewer, mm-hmm. what question you think I should have asked you? Uh, If I was in your position, um... I mean, what 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 advice you would give to anybody in the world, like to inspire them to uh to 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 give them courage and to keep going and 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 doing whatever it is that they may be doing. It don't matter what it is. Just you know what I'm saying. Like I I, I ask you a question like that. Like what what advice you would want to give to anybody that just might be watching or you know what I'm saying, what words of encouragement, you know what I'm saying? Cause like people could could, could be around you every day for years on out and that person ain't never asked you like, damn boy, uh uh how you feeling or or or, or how life treating you. You got some things you wanna share or even just giving somebody words of encouragement, cause I done got so I like dog, I done I done left the house just to go have a drink and uh probably I, I could have been feeling some type of weight and a motherfucker see me and like damn boy, how you been? Boy, damn it's good to see you. I was just thinking about you. And you know, like my spirit, like I try to keep great positive energy and my spirit take the certain people that I could be thinking about this person and when I go out somewhere, I see that person or just somebody randomly call me and it like damn boy, I was just thinking about you. Like so that's like if I can't tell you nothing good, like I don't want to tell you shit unless you finna go hurt something or 
somebody that did something to you, I don't want to tell you nothing that's got something to do with that. Anything other than that, man, all I got is to tell you everything positive or I don't want to tell you nothing wrong. So that's just me personally. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I ask. I think I asked and answered it maybe a little bit, but yeah. Now, perfect. You answered it perfectly. And for my final question, uh, what you see yourself in your music career in the next three to five years? Mm, good question. Uh, see it in the next, in the next uh, few months. I'm trying to see myself gaining more followers on every platform I got. Getting more, more, uh, getting more, 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 um interviews with people that want to interview me putting out more content fuck fuck the next few years i'm talking about i'm trying to do so i'm trying to just elevate from this point to the next time y'all talk to me like tomorrow i'm trying to do some elevate i'm trying to change something that i've been stuck doing for the last few months or so like that you know what i'm saying so every day i'm trying to break out that matrix so i don't give a fuck if it's the next hour if it's something that that's going that that's going to change me to for tomorrow, that's what I'm trying to be doing today. You get what I'm I'm saying? So this interview is a start. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to elevate every day. It ain't even got to be in the next two years. Tomorrow, I'm trying to be doing this. Next week from now, I'm trying to be back in the studio again. You know what I'm saying? When I get home from the studio, I'm trying to write me another new uh, a new single. You know what I'm saying? So every day and every hour, I'm trying to do something because it's feel like the rush speeding up. So you know, fuck a year from now, a week from now, <laughs> I'm trying to be an elevated to the fact that like, damn, boy, I just saw you on the show. I ain't know you, you, you. Yeah, cause I what? That's just what I got accomplished after the show. You get what I'm saying? So that's really what I'm on, man. Um, like Ron, this, of course, this is the last final question. Tell the guys where they can find you, where they can locate you when it comes to aspect of social media. Not in real life, but in the aspect of social media, where they can find you so they can go ahead and subscribe to wherever you they want them to subscribe to subscribe to. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. Everything Ron Jizzle. You type Ron okay. Jizzle in, I'm coming up. Ron Jizzle with a J, J I Z Z L E, Ron R O N, Ron Jizzle, J I Z Z L E. You can find me everywhere. Just go on and type it in. Preferably, you go to Instagram. Instagram will get you wherever else you need to go. You go to Facebook. Facebook going to get you to wherever else you want to go or check out. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we got the, I got the links on, 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 on that, on them. So you want to go to the music, click a link on Instagram. You want to go to Facebook? Click a, click a, uh, a a link on Instagram. Facebook to YouTube. Click a, click a link on you uh, on Instagram on Facebook. So so that's 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 just easy as that. You type in Ron Jizzle. I ain't even hard to find up. I meant to find. Unless y'all want my address, that's uh. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not good. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. But now, but shout out to Ron Jizzle for being here. Oh, Jordan already put his link in the chat. So, guys, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to Miami on Finest. Go ahead and subscribe to Ron. You know, we also greatly appreciate him for also for coming in, joining us on the panel and uh, for allowing us to do this interview. Shout out, shout out to Goddess Forever, she, she, Roxy, for allowing us to pretty much introduce us to your music and introduce, yeah, yeah, yeah. introduce us to you. To you. She's really dope. I told her I'm going to give her a special shout out. So shout out to yeah. her. Goddess Forever, yeah. man. She, she's one of the dopest. So yeah. uh, it's because of her that we was able to conduct this interview. So shout out to her. So sure. I came once again. Let's play the music video, and Ron could be on about his business. Shout out Yo. to him once again. Appreciate y'all. How y'all niggas doing right here, man? Y'all playing ball yes, and shit? Y'all be playing ball. What you doing up here? I'm looking for Ron Jizzle. Where Ron Jizzle at? That's my daddy, nigga. That's your daddy? That's nigga, daddy. that's my friend. Let me tell you a story about Ron Jizzle. Give me this ball, nigga. My ball, boy. Right, nigga. Boy. That's my nigga. That's my motherfucking dog. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what you talking about? <laughs> yeah.
shit. Fuck from around here with all that shit. Yeah. Fuck that song. That's my friend. That's my friend. You say my nigga snitching. I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See you gon' bend the fuck around and got hit in your mouth. That's my friend. That's my friend. You say my nigga snitching. I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See you gon' bend the fuck around and got hit in your mouth. Then show me some black and white with my nigga name on it. But I know it's black and white with your nigga's name on it. He done fucked around and done got himself into some shit he ain't wanted. Done fucked around and talked about the wrong nigga, my home. For shit that we done in the past, that's why them demons all on me. Burning sage around the crib to keep them bitches from off me. I keep trying not to be loud, but niggas act like they want it. I think that's why God giving me my gift, cause he see that I want it. On auto mode about my brothers, just know that I'm coming. With a hundred, don't, don't. Yeah, you know that I'm drumming. Only time you see me running, running down on something. Or them crackers get behind me with them poles or something I'm never slipping, nigga always got poles in the wheel Even when a nigga got a couple holes in the wheel Nah, baby, just chill, you ain't even got a trip I'm a real good driver, bitch, I know how to deal That's my friend, that's my friend you say my nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about See, you gon' bend the fuck around and got hit in your mouth That's my friend, that's my friend Nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See, you gon' bend the fuck around and got hit in your mouth. One time for perfect timing, times it's hard. We made it out the mud to the stars. We took another world against the odds. Your back against the wall, you can make it fall. One time for perfect timing, times it's hard. We made it out the mud to the stars. You my nigga, can't talk shit about my nigga If he ain't here, that's still my nigga That's a bad bitch, still my nigga Cause she realer than most niggas On go about that little bitch right there My motherfucking sister Sending shots about all my siblings I pray them bitches hit you Rest in peace, my nigga head Can't wait to catch up with your killer And if I ain't serving this ass like a fucking drug dealer Best believe I'ma be the one that sucked the fucking hit Nigga, that was my friend That's my friend, that's my friend you say my nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about that's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See, you gon' bend the fuck around and got hit in your mouth. That's my friend, that's my friend. You say my nigga snitching, I don't know what you're talking about. That's one nigga you can't tell me nothing about. See, you gon' bend the fuck around and got hit in your mouth.